Hey, welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I am Joe Beretta. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, this story is about Spider-Man. Hey Steve, do you ever like watch a comic book movie or read a comic book and think, hot damn, I want to be a superhero. If only I could live to the day where real superhero technology existed. Get out of my head, Joe! Of course I want to be a superhero. I would probably kill a guy huh? if he deserved it. Okay. To just get my hands on some superhero technology. Please tell me you're about to tell me a story about real superhero gadgets. Hold on to your Batman underoo, Steve, because student makers at Utah State University actually fabricated a Spider-Man-like wall crawler called the Vertical Ascender for an Air Force competition to help commandos scale tall buildings without stepping onto a vehicle or picking up a grappling hook, a la Batman. Oh my god, yes, I heard about this, Joe. Alfred briefed me about this earlier. Alfred? Like Batman's Alfred. No, I'm not talking about Batman's Alfred. I'm talking about the chairman of my superhero online bulletin board, Alfred. He keeps me up to date on cool comic book news. Okay, that's cool. Whatever you do in your time is cool. So the team of engineering undergrads who call themselves the Ascending Aggies outcompeted teams from 16 other universities to win the Air Force Research Laboratory's annual design challenge, earning $50,000 in grant money and a chance to win double that, all for this awesome device that can haul at least 300 pounds of human up a wall. Yeah, but it's noisy as hell. I mean, how are you supposed to sneak up on an unsuspecting perp with the world's loudest vacuum on your back? Also, the winning team's faculty advisor, Steven Hansen, said it's designed to operate for 30 minutes, which is several times the expected climb time. Okay, I guess that's cool, but they kind of have a long way to go before someone suits up and kicks some ass superhero style with this thing. True, but the Utah State University is eagerly billing the Vertical Ascender as a superhero device and playing up the Spider-Man parallel. And the military isn't above these superhero parallels either. There's an exoskeleton suit that's just months away from the front line. Recently called The Hulk, and the Air Force has a human chassis for commandos named after Batman. Okay, that's awesome. The heart of the Ascender is actually its lungs, tubes extending from the personal assisted chamber to pads the size of dinner plates worn over the hands provide just enough suction to get the 300 pounds worth of badass commando over the wall. Uh, I want one. Uh, that brings us to two pretty big problems though, Steve. Problem number one, he doesn't look like Spider-Man, he looks like Doc Ock. Problem number two, you can't ignore how damn loud it is. Right? It's just too damn loud. Yeah, it's too damn loud, but this thing is still a ways from being implemented into the real world. Hansen considers stealth as the next design challenge. He goes on to say, the students had to focus their attention on finding a solution in a finite period with finite resources to solve a specific objective given to them by the Air Force, and they did it. The USU College of Engineering has been asked to submit a proposal to secure a $100,000 grant to further develop its winning idea for the Air Force. This includes minimizing size, reducing weight, and making it much more quiet. That's good because it's just too damn loud. It's too damn loud. It's too damn loud. It's too damn loud. It's too, damn loud. it's too damn loud. So what do you guys think? Is this exciting technological advancement one step closer to real superhero tech? Or are we still years away from ever seeing anything like this implemented or even accessible to potential vigilante? Let us know in the comments down below. When you're done doing that, web crawl up to the like button, then web crawl up to the subscribe button, and then hit this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to check out the five stories of the day or anything that we've ever covered at SourceFed. I am Joe Beretta. And I'm Steve Zaragoza.